Working on the back end of the camper now. You can hear it's uh, raining outside. And um, I do have a tarp over the top of the camper. It's not on, all along the sides. You can see we got a leak right over here. But uh, that part's not covered up by a tarp. And it uh, looks like it's coming in probably around where that tail light is. And uh, I'm going to replace those tail lights and I'll get that all sealed up real good. So I've been working on the back. Um, you can see where the, uh, the bent wood that holds, that, that forms the shape of the, this, this piece of bent oak here forms the shape of the whole camper all the way around. And uh, on the front of the camper it does the same thing and it forms the curve at the bottom as well. But this, on the back end here, it's got a little trunk area. so. This doesn't form the, the outside curve of the camper, but it does provide a uh, curve for the paneling on the inside. Uh, and it's uh, it's got some water damage. In fact, it's, it's broken here. Um, and what I've done is uh, made a piece to fit right in here that uh, I was able to get that secured really well so that that wouldn't be so flimsy. And uh, did the same thing on the other side. There's one over there as well. Um, I made that piece to go in there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to make another rib, I guess you could call it, to go across here. And um, so when I put the paneling, new piece of paneling in there, uh, it'll go all the way up to here. I'll connect it here, attach it here. I'll have a piece coming across here that I'll attach it to, and then at the bottom. So it should be pretty secure. One of the things I've already replaced is this piece that goes underneath the windows in the rear. Um, there were screws in it from the outside. I had to take all the screws out all along under those windows and on that uh, siding. Take all those out and uh, I just pulled that piece out. I cut a new piece, piece to fit in there and uh, put those screws back in. And I uh, also took out this piece that was right in between the windows. Uh, just a piece of 2x2 two two, uh, lumber. And uh, when I took it out with it came this piece of uh, aluminum siding, a little strip of aluminum siding. So I'm gonna, I've got a new piece cut to go back in there, but I'm gonna have to wait till it stops raining to get that aluminum back in there good and uh, get that put back in there. Even though I've got a tarp over the top, you can see it out the window, see the silver tarp, uh, it's not that great of a tarp. It's uh, what came on the camper, and uh, it's what the guy had on the camper when I bought it. Um, so it's you know it's been used, and they get kind of thin and they leak. So what you might be able to tell right here, it's wet right under there, um, and uh, so the obviously the tarp is leaking, but also the top of that window is leaking. And I also saw a similar thing over here. I don't think you see any water up under there, but a while ago I saw some water drip out and uh, just drip down from here. So uh, when I take all the windows out, I'll be putting new putty tape all around the windows and get those sealed really well. Alright, so I think since last time, probably what I've gotten done here is um, I've put this cross piece in here and that's going to allow me to have something to fasten the, the back paneling to. I uh, also created, made a, a piece to go right in here to reinforce, um, reinforce this piece that was going up and down here, the curved piece, it was a little flimsy, so I made the made a piece to go in there out of some 
lumber uh, and got that in there where it would be pretty solid. I did another one on this side just to reinforce that pretty well. Um, also put a new um, uh, piece of wood in between the windows there. That one was rotten so I, I did that. 